babes so one of my clients asked me to do a video on outfit ideas for those of you guys that still have to go into work um i actually had this idea on my list but i felt like right now people are working from home and she reminded me that everyone is not working from home there are still you know people who still have to go into work and she wants some outfit ideas that did not involve jeans to wear to work so i put together a few outfit ideas for those of you guys who have to go into work or maybe when you have to start back going to work if you want some ideas that are cute and work appropriate that but that don't involve jeans then stick around all right babes this outfit is giving me work day vibes okay um i paired this little card this is not a cardigan i paired this blazer that i got from h&m with this turtleneck dress that i got from zara a good minute ago i will have everything in the description box below this um this dress i did get like last year maybe october september so i'm sure it sold out but i will try to find something similar and link for you guys but this is just a turtleneck dress it is sleeveless so i definitely wanted you know i would definitely put something over it and I just chose to throw on this nice little blazer from H&M. I love the fact that it does automatically have these sleeves so it doesn't make it look so stuffy. It's a little bit more laid back, but still very, in my opinion, work appropriate. And I paired it with this little waist belt here. I don't remember where I got this from, this is really old. And I'll probably have on these same accessories through the whole video, just some little gold chunky hoops and my favorite gold watch. And, I paired it with my favorite express booties that I wear all the time. Um, the only other thing that I may do with this, depending on how cold it is outside, you can definitely pair it with some black tights. I didn't here because I couldn't find mine, but I think it looks good this way, and you can definitely add the black tights as well. But this, like I said, is giving me work bay vibes. I think you're really cute. You know, you look nice, you look fine, but you know, nothing is exposed. Even though we have our form-fitting dress, the blazer, in my opinion, just makes it very work appropriate, corporate. You know, it does come down far enough to cover your butt. You know, it covers up everything. So we're looking cute and nice, but we're still work appropriate. We're still, you know, giving, like I said, work bay vibes, which is what I get from this outfit. So also, if you don't have a blazer like such, um, I think a trench coat would look nice over this. I think, um, maybe a cardigan depending on what type of cardigan you have and again i always say you know tweak any of these outfits depending on the culture of your job the culture of the company you're working for and your work environment so you know if it is a bit more relaxed you could probably go ahead and get away with the cardigan but if your um, company is not more relaxed you definitely probably want to do a blazer or a trench but um you know just depending on how cold or hot it is in your office i think this blazer is just really nice to wear all day and it's not too heavy it's just light so you can do this and if it's cold put a coat over it you'll be just fine but yeah i really love this blazer for that reason that it's long enough to cover everything but you still look cute so yeah this outfit is like i said i'll call her work bay <laughs> so let me know what you guys think all right babe so this is our next outfit and i love this one because i love houndstooth um, this is one of my favorite blazers, and I think I got this from Zara or Target. I'll have it linked down below, I can't remember. But I love this blazer. Um, like I said, I love houndstooth, and this blazer does come with a tie waist detail that is the same houndstooth uh, print. But I took it off and I just added my own belt. I paired it with this, um, you know, little croc embossed belt with the gold detailing i think i got this from zara um a while ago it's old and i can't find a link because i'm always asked about it so i can't find a link but i'll try to find something similar but i just pop this on and the blazer does come with one single button here and of course you can definitely wear it without i think it looks great but i just preferred it with a belt i just think that kind of helps to cinch in the waist and help us to look a little bit more put together so let me know which one you guys prefer i like the belt but let me know if you prefer it without or what you're thinking but yeah all right so underneath i have on the same black high waist trouser pants from h&m and underneath i have on just a square neck top that i got from zara a while ago um you could also do a turtleneck you could do a v-neck you could do any kind of black shirt underneath and it would give you you know a great look as well i just did the square because i wanted a little bit of um skin showing 
you know, not too much, but just a little bit of something with the blazer and the black pants. So, but I think it would look nice with a turtleneck as well. And I paired it with these black mules that I got from Express a while ago as well. And they are kind of croc embossed as well. So it kind of, you know, goes with the um, belt. <laughs> yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this look. I love it. Oh, this will also look really good with a red lip a red bag. I don't know why I like black and white and red. You could also do fuchsia. You, I mean, any pop of color, but I think this will look really good with a red lip or if it's kind of spring or cooler outside, a fuchsia lip. All right, babe. So this is one of my favorite sweater dresses and I think it's definitely worth appropriate because um, I think it's very classy. I love the fact that it's not form-fitting. Um, you know, I am a curvy girl. It is a dress, but it's not super bodycon hugging and all of that kind of stuff. In my opinion, this is a very classy sweater dress so i think it is work appropriate um i did pick this up from express i've had it for quite a while but i think it's still available and what i love most about this sweater dress is the sleeves love these sleeves give me a little bit of drama you know while keeping it classy at work but you still cute you know maybe going somewhere after work i think this is so cute i paired it with my favorite um, boots from Vince Camuto and these are wide cap boots just FYI um, but yeah very cute simple and I love sweater dresses or any kind of dress because I feel like a dress is an easy outfit you don't have to really worry about what you're gonna wear with it the dress is the outfit you can dress it up or down depending on what's going on this is more of a dressy dress I can't, I can't really see you dressing this down but um, yeah love dresses for work if this is sold out, I will link some um, similar in the description box. If you have any kind of sweater dress that's not super form fitting and that is, you know, not super short, I think you can always make them work appropriate by adding, um, if it is a little bit on the shorter side, meaning like maybe a little above the knee, you can always add tights with that. Um, you can always add a blazer over it, always add a trench. That is a great way to kind of make your sweater dresses work appropriate. Again, just making sure that the dress is, you know, covering up enough that it's not super form fitting. But like I said, if it is, like we did the other dress, you can always pair a jacket or a blazer. But this one can be worn by itself because she is cute. Ooh. <laughs> all right babe so this is another one of my favorite outfits i think it may be my favorite just because i love black white and red it's one of my favorite combos i'm here for it so um i love these paper bag waist full leather pants i picked them up from nordstrom's rack i love them um they look very you know corporate chic to me um, you do have to make sure, you know, you have the waist of these pants pulled all the way up so you don't sag here. But I do love these pants. I just love everything about them. I love faux leather, period. And I just love the fit of these pants. To me, they just look very, you know, nice. And um, they're not super form-fitting and tight. I just think this is very work-appropriate in my opinion. And I paired it with this mock neck. I think this is mock neck <laughs> top that I got. I think this is from Zara. I've had this for a few years. Let me show you guys the detailing on this shirt. I love a dramatic sleeve. So we have our sleeve here and we have our detail at the neck with the ruffles here. I just love everything about this shirt. Um, like I said, I've had this shirt for a few years, so I will find something similar and link it for you guys. And also I want to show you guys the detailing in these pants. Now it does come with its own belt and it does have silver detailing and it's more of a, um, I can't remember what it's called. It just kind of loops through and you pull it. I don't like those belts, so I took it off and just put, put my own little skinny belt with gold hardware on with it. But you know, you can always wear it however you choose, but I did just do that. So I popped on some of my favorite red heels. These are some suede heels. I think they're Steve Madden. I've had these a very long time, but I will link something similar in the description box below. Um, like I told you guys, black and white, um, in my opinion, it goes very well with red, fuchsias, yellow, pink, like any color you want to, honestly. Now, again, depending on your work environment, you may just want to kind of keep it simple and maybe stick to a red or stick to maybe a fuchsia, something not too bright, but I think it will look great with yellow. I think it will look great with blue any color black and white is just so you can do so much with it so i do want to show you guys that i think this will also look good with the red lip i love a red lip and yeah so i think this is one of my favorites but let me know what you guys think about this look here
babe so with this outfit i want to share how you could kind of take a basic work outfit and give it a little bit of fun and interest with a print which is the shoes so i popped on this white silk blouse i think i got this from zara i think um it is a wrap top that i absolutely love i'm coming so you guys can see i love the buttons here and i know i'm going on and on about this shirt i don't know if it's you know still available because i got it a while ago but i do i think i told you guys i love peplum tops i think they are just cute and flattering for every shape and i think they are very work appropriate as well um you could absolutely put a pin here or put a um a uh, cami underneath if needed again depending on your work environment and how low cut it is but i just paired it with these high waist trouser pants that i got from h&m i love these because they come up like really really far y'all like they come up really far so i definitely got these recently so i'll definitely have a link below and i paired it with these cute little black and white polka dot mules that i got from a local little um random shoe store in the mall so and i got these a couple summers ago so i'll try to find something similar and link it but the point of this outfit was just to show you guys you can take a simple basic outfit that you're wearing to work and kind of give it a little bit of something fun or add a little something extra with your shoe by doing um you know the nice polka dot you can also add something fun by adding a pop of color with your bag or polka dot bag even a polka dot blazer or something like that just to take a simple outfit and make it a little bit more fun while you're at work so let me know what you guys think about this outfit i love it and like i said i will try to find something similar to this top in this shoe and link it as well as these nice h&m pants because i feel like you need them love all right you guys so this is another one of my favorites and i know this may not be everyone's cup of tea but i love it this is giving me classy this is giving me chic i just love it and i think it's the tones and everything but first let's talk about this shirt I picked up this shirt from Zara recently, so I will link it down below. And I love the snakeskin detailing, and it does have gold in, in it. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. This top is a little bit sheer, but honestly, I really can't see through it too much. I'll see how it shows up on camera as I watch back, but if it is sheer, I'm sorry. You know, it's cute for going out, but if you want to work, you probably want to put um, a cami underneath. But I love the neck area it has these buttons here and i love that about this top as well as the fact that the neck is more relaxed here it's not a tight turtleneck style it's more of a relaxed um kind of almost like a cow neck here and i love that about this top so love 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 this and also i did pair it with my favorite you know crock embossed belt with the gold detailing and yeah, this skirt is from H&M. I was just excited to put it on. I love skirts. I love swing skirts. They make me happy. <laughs> but um, this skirt is not form-fitting. It's long, so I definitely think this is work appropriate. And I paired it with my favorite little um, black booties from Express. So like I said, I know this is not everyone's cup of tea, but I love it. You could also do, if you have an olive skirt like this or anything olive, you know, you can pair it with um, a tan top, a chocolate top, a cream, off-white. You could do white. I just think it looks better with more off-white, cream, tan, that type of thing. Um, any kind of turtleneck or regular um, v-neck top would look good with this as well. But I think a turtleneck and a nice build would let, make it look a little bit more dressy for work. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this outfit. Like I said, it's one of my favorites, but I know it won't be everyone's cup of tea. And I'm cool with that. <laughs> All right, babe. So as always, comment down below and let me know which was your favorite outfit. Also, as I always do, let me know if this was helpful for you guys and if there are any outfit ideas videos that you guys would like for me to do because I want to make sure that the content is helpful for you guys and that you leave with some inspiration to go in your closet and find a cute outfit, girl. Thank you so much for watching. Please check the description box below for all of the links to the outfits. If I don't have a link, I will try to find something similar. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.